back in the basement. He reclines, talks about stuff. Uh, that's not right at all. You can't really see me. Okay. Uh, basically, see, I'm listening to my own, you know, my African video I made for my uh, fake line. I'm working on fake line. Good. One second. One second. One second. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That, that's, that's going well. That's going well. But anyway, basically, I just wanted to come here while working on Fate. You know, so I, used to go, I, was, I was ranting about all kinds of stuff uh, going on with all our moving and whatnot during, during the Fire Emblem video. And I guess I over, you know, basically overtaxed the computer. So basically, the Fire video didn't work. It's always really weird. Ah, usually the collisions. There we go. And so basically, it's like really annoying. It was really, you know, so I was, then I realized, hey, I have this camera that's designed for, you know, things like this, you know, that's just, let's, let's use it for, let's use it for these kind of videos, face-to-face -face type videos. Hypercam is, the, especially on this little baby computer here, uh, is mostly designed, okay, let me move this up here so then you're more straight up, there you go, All right. it's mostly designed for, yeah, stick them in the hang of it, you know, it's a very interesting setup, but it's not my usual one at all, you know, okay, my cover on, mm -hmm. Cover on because it is cool. Definitely, there's some cool breezes down here. Mm. You know, I'm basically yeah, uh, guarding. Mm. You're hanging out in the house. This is the old house. Uh, we have our new, uh, pretty awesome apartment. Mm. You know, that we're trying to get into. We're mostly into it. We have the keys to the building and to our room, mm. and we have, uh, you know, we our boxes are pretty much packed. Just about. We just need a moving truck. Now, uh, I could say, yeah, also, I, people would be nice. A bunch of people, say a good uh, dozen people, or well, well, at least five, four, three or four, maybe uh, you know, half a dozen or so, would be nice. But if it's just like, hey, you know, we have a truck, and uh, we can, you know, a guy, to, someone to drive the truck, you know, and a few hours with that we can have the truck here, you know, mm, and this, you know, because then I'll be like, you know, uh, a bit of cash that we can we can pay we can pay we work to get work hard enough we can pay that, you know. I'm like, um, yeah, it's all you know. If it's just me, my mom, and my brother, or just me and my mom, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be very tough and very tiring and uh, very taxing, but it will happen. Finally, I don't know. Can you see me? Is it like really super dark? Looks like it is in this picture. Uh, I don't know. I'm not trying to be hidden. Mm. Not really. Uh, I don't know. Well, whatever. We'll work on that. But basic setup. This is not a normal setup. This is this is definitely, you know, something I'm trying to work on. You know, I have the camera, the 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 Kobe snap on top of the um, and a little cardboard stand that's I made. A design, not my favorite kind of design, because you know, I thought it would be nice and small, you know, really thin, but it's not as work. It needs to be really thick and it's annoying. But yeah, still, it's working for now. Uh, but it's on top of the baby computer, the, the silly baby computer, you know, and you know, down here, hanging out, while away the hours, guess what? with the flowers, it's all day with the rain, you know, that kind of stuff. It's, it's some weird stuff. But back to work. Might as well get on, because basically, I have fate. Do. Once he's done, I can finally zip him up real good. Save game. Okay. Save everything. Zip him up real good. Uh, then when I can go to the library, hopefully it will be like Tuesday morning, you know, before. Because basically, uh, every yeah, I work. Um, okay, I can say I work at Winking, Winking Lizard. I can say I work at Winking Lizard. I won't say which one. But I can say I can work at Winking Lizard, and uh, as a dishwasher, and basically. Yeah, there. That's amazing. Anyway, uh, Waking Lizard. Uh, I, I mean, as a dishwasher, basically what happens is uh, every now, you know, it's like right now, it's at the point where it's better than it was. Where it was like, okay, you go oh, back to work. Okay, you um are you know we, you're new at this. We we don't know if you're any good. So we got it. I, I don't know. We'll say we'll say it again. Okay. I don't know if you're. We don't know if you're any good. I'll throw that up there. You know, that, like I'm talking about the blue collision boxes. And the, there's like Idol has some. Some reason has red collision boxes. I don't. I mean that's because he's, he's supposed to be damaging, which makes things cheaper and annoying. Because it's like okay, if you touch him, you get hurt. Why? You know. And it's not like he's like got a damaged field or anything. You know, or been told he has damage. You know, or we were like not even. It's not in the story, but it's there. You know, it's like what? Well, I don't understand that. 
red and blue collision boxes is really strange. I don't like that. Yeah. Anyway, so it's like they're like, okay, uh, we don't really know yo know, if you're any good, you know. So we're going to see how you do. We're gonna like yeah, give you one or two days a week. Go ahead. So it was like, you know, getting checks that were like maybe a hundred or so and it's like eh. and then eventually and my mom was ticked off because I used to I was going from like 400 in the summer you know to 200 in the winter a job that was 400 in the summer 200 in the winter or so basically and then it's like oh yeah a uh, hundred dollars you know under you know hundred dollars you work an extra time some more time 150 you know and she's like what the heck is this you know now we're getting to back to winter time basically we're getting at, we're at winter time it is winter so it's like yeah you know not as bad now <laughs> you know i work so i work tuesday uh friday tuesday maybe friday sometimes oh, a lot of times uh saturday and sunday which is annoying there will be a music video made about that eventually um but well, we're be working Sunday, uh, but yeah, it's not you know even though it's, it was pretty tough today because of all this crazy stuff we're doing, uh, it, and of course my uh, at, you know, being out of uniform mm -mm, in so many ways you know, that today because basically what happened was it was like uh, I was helping my mom get some you know cart car a few things over to a place like laundry and the TV a little SpongeBob TV and her DVD. Uh, video, video video player DVDs you know video player combo thing so she could basically watch some videos and DVDs while she's over there because she's guarding the new house new apartment I, I'm guarding this place so it's like you know we're, we're kind of just hanging out you know and I'm like you know sleepover stuff you know I'm basically doing my, doing this kind of sleepover thing so it's kind of fun I mean, it's kind of fun to just do because I've got my computer, computer down here oh let's talk let's get going let's go. so basically it's like yeah we're just hanging out having fun you know Hang out. The issue is, yeah, and there's some issues with all our phones and weird stuff. It's not fun. But basically, let's see. So basically, it's like, okay, I uh, took a load of laundry. I got, I had to get dressed real quick, you know, put my Cleveland Crops coveralls on, and then basically it was like, like, we at a collision box, like, there. Uh, and I was like, okay, mm, put my Cleveland Crops coveralls on, but my, oh, oh, yeah, I had my shirt, this wool, the Wolverine shirt that my roommate gave me, you know, got me for Halloween, you know. And he's like, okay, you know, you, I got a mask to go with that, you know, check it, let's, let's see what you look like. And he, I think he took some pictures of me you know, with the Wolverine mask and the Wolverine shirt on, t-shirt on. And he's like, yeah, you look great. You look wonderful. You look awesome, man. And it's like, I was like, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, sure, I guess. And I was thinking, wait a minute, you thought this was the right, you know, saying, yeah, this this is the best costume for you. You know, I was like, you know, mom, mom thought so too. You know, my mom, you know, he called her mom too. So it's like, uh. Like really, Wolverine? You know, me, a guy who likes to invent awesome technologies. <laughs> Wolverine, <laughs> you know, like there was an Iron Man suit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll get me. I'll get that one. I'll get that one. <laughs> it was an Iron Man suit. <laughs> you know, come on, guys. You know, but still, so, yeah, Wolverine's cool, but I'm not really a berserker of rage. Well, at least I'm not trying to be anymore because I got fired from my last well, like. Got a huge troll at my last Twitch is watching y'all for doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's not cool. But well, let's see. Uh oh yeah. So I was I had I had the Wolverine shirt on, uh my Cleveland Cross black Cleveland Cross coveralls, and my um these old pair of boots that my roommate had in his um closet. We, and he left them in his closet because he didn't, he didn't need them. He got some new boots, so he's like, yeah, whatever. So he left them in there. I was like, okay, well, these might come in handy if it snows, and it snowed. Mm -hmm. So it's like three, six inches on the ground, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going handy. handy. Uh, and it's like, okay, I went, took this load over to, you know, mom to the uh, new apartment, where it's another collision box. And I was like, okay, this is no big deal. We got, uh, you know, I got in there and uh, my mom says she was in the laundry, you know, she was doing laundry. So it was like, okay, I had to look for the laundry room. Scared the day, nearly scared the um, daylight somehow out of this one, uh, one nice lady, you know, grandma, who was like hanging out uh, in the hallway of this one place and probably in front of her door, you know, probably talking to someone inside, you know, and I was like, I was I basically, it was a whole school. So I was thinking, okay. You know, public. This is. I thought this was a public a hall, the hallway to like a public area or something. You know, so I was like, oh, okay, no big deal. And I see this lady just hanging, you know, hanging out in the doorway, talking. You know, well, like, hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? Go down the hallway, saying, no, 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 we're, we're doing this thing this way. And I was like, hey, man, you know, I was like realizing, oh no, no, this was, you know, probably a public classrooms were probably here. Now they're apartments. So this is a private area. <laughs> you know, this is this lady's house. And then I was like, oh, but wait. 
I, I can find out where the laundry mat is. And so I was like, oh, it's like, like, let's say a good um three. I'd say twenty feet away, mm -mm. good twenty feet away. So she could have easily, if she felt truly threatened by me, she could have easily just like you know, slipped back in that door and closed the door and you know, and I was like slammed it, you know. And I wouldn't be able to get to you know. She, yeah, I was totally not in within reach, arm's length of her at all. And I was very respectful because I was like, yeah, they basically has a problem with uh, men. First of all, men and uh, especially black men, and then of course big. Black men, <laughs> it's like a trifecta of uh, terrible. <laughs> you know, we have to get over that stigma. You know, I'm not that big, but I, I'm kind of big. <laughs> I'm kind of big. I, my mom and my grandfather are definitely testaments to that. We are, we are definitely larger, <laughs> more full-figured people. <laughs> you know, I don't really want my dad, but I don't know. Yeah, but still, you know, my brother and I both got my uh, mom's. Uh, Fuller figure jeans, so yeah, we were definitely, we are definitely, you know, can be a little intimidating if you you don't really know us at all. So it was like, you know, I was like twenty feet away. I was like, excuse me. And she's like, oh, 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 like, how'd you get in here? And I was like, oh, my, my mom has a key. We just moved in. I was like, oh, uh, like oh, oh, uh, well, what do you want? She's like, oh, well, um, uh, did you tell me where the laundry mat is? And she's like, laundry, like the laundry room is. He's like, oh, laundry room. Well, well, you have to go downstairs for that. It's like, oh, I was like, oh, okay, thank, thank you, thank you very much. You know, trying to be very polite. Very, and I was like, you know, that's enough. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you very much. And I left, walked out there, and I went down some stairs, and I didn't see it. And I was like, okay, this is weird. Walked around some more, went to the apartment, and decided eventually to go. We go to the apartment, put this stuff away. They said, yeah, this is what this camera's, what cameras like this are for. Just you know, letting it all out real good. Well, not all, but uh, enough out real good. You know, you know, this is what these cameras are for. You know, hypercam, especially on this little cute little baby computer, uh, that's really, really also old. So it's like one of those computers that's like, say, you ever seen those people that are like those children that are look like they're really old? <laughs> you know, kind of like that. <laughs> or no, no, the reverse. Benjamin Button. <laughs> Benjamin Button. <laughs> it, no. Well, make no, uh, yes, yes, Benjamin Button, at like 60 years old, he was a baby, <laughs> okay, so he was very small, but very old, <laughs> same thing, <laughs> you know, same thing, same thing, okay, <clears throat> so it's like, it, you know, and I'm like, okay, anyway, uh, so I went downstairs, went to my apartment, the apartment, or we have an apartment in the basement, <laughs> okay, we were like basically, we started off having an apartment in the attic, you know, game, where the auditorium was. This little auditorium was basically makes you maybe think of the storefront at Gateway Downtown Church now, you know, across from the Wolstein Center. And basically, yeah, it looked like that. It was like a, there was like a, a stage and a place where chairs could go, and then our, our apartment door, two apartment doors, and two doors. And I was like, one door was an apartment, and another door was another apartment. So I was like, I was thinking, this is not bad. It's kind of small and kind of weird with the stage out here, but you know, I can do some YouTube stuff with that. But then she's like, I, you know, the landlady's like, okay, um, I can't really find that key. Uh, how about a key to another apartment? And I'm like, at this point, I was like, sure, <laughs> you know, let, let's see. You have a key. We've been trying to get a key for days. Uh, you have a key to an apartment. It's not that same one. But it's another one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. They're like, okay, let's 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 check that out. Let's check that out. So she's good on there, and she's it went down to this basement apartment, and this apartment is almost as big as this house. <laughs> to me, the the, the, the it's maybe like a one third smaller than this house. <laughs> okay, at least the downstairs. You know, it's like it's basically it, it is it was massive. It was glorious. It was like. You know, you just, you know, oh my goodness. So this live the living room, you know, again, the living room it was almost as big as this living room. Okay, look, uh, let's look at this living room. Look at this living room. Let's, 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 let's pan around because you'll we'll, we'll, you know, we'll be able to see it for, for, for long. So just pan around and look around this living room. Look at this thing. See, look how big this is. This is, this is amazing and wonderful. That's the kitchen, dining room, kitchen, whatever. And basically, this thing was almost, this living room in that place was almost as big as this one. <laughs> Right there, that's like, I'm home. <clears throat> I'm, you know, this is good. And I'll, and then it was like my bedroom is not as big as my my old bed the bedroom my, my old bedroom in this place, but it's okay. It'll work. My bedroom, same thing. It'll work. 
and it's pretty good size, to, you know, good enough for a bed and like a tea, you know, tea, you know, entertainment center place, you know, put stuff in. It, it, it's, it's, it's fine. It's great. It, 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 it's, it's, it's just it, it'll, it'll do the job. It'll, it'll more than do the job. It'll be, we'll be happy to do the job. And she might, she's like, hey, do you think this will work for you? Do you think this one will work for you? I, I have the key to this apartment. Do you think this apartment will work for you? I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, yes. Yes, I do. You think your mom will like this one more, you know? You know, it's not the same as the one you, 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 I showed you before. I was like, yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. He was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, just, at that point, it was, it was all yes. Because I was like, I'm going to be as agreeable as possible. Because I want this to happen. I want this to happen. You know, come on. You know, this is a, a place to live, you know, I, this is a place to live, you know, that we can move into and, you know, stay for, you know, a while, you know, come on, yeah, yes, <laughs> I'm sure she'll like it, and if she does, she does, because I'm like, yes, you know, we're, we're good, we're, you know, we're, we're good, we're all good here, she's like, okay, well, I have the keys, you know, here are the keys, and, um, uh, and then I immediately put them on my keychain, just instantly. And it's like, here are the keys. There are two keys to the door, to the um, building. One for you and one for her. And one apartment key. Uh, and, uh, please don't try to make copies because I'm going to make you know, new key, get new keys as soon as I can. I'm like, okay, okay, you know, fine, whatever, you know. <laughs> you know the keys are in hand. And then it's like, uh, oh yeah, back to work, back to work. So I was like, uh, oh no, 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 that's a different day. Uh, kind of got off track because of the awesomeness of the apartment. But, you know, that was definitely a different day. Mm. The Wolverine, out, the, the crazy outfit was basically the day, or two, a day or so after that, or the day after that. I think it was a day or so after that. I don't know. It's hard to tell track. It takes track of the time because of all this weird stuff. But anyway. <clears throat> Check out my collision box. Okay, okay, let's get it. Well, there's like three frames of animation here. But it's very simple. We get rid of the collision boxes. Just click on them. There you go. There. Click on that one. That's annoying. There's some, you know, attack one for when he gets hit. Why? Uh, the issue, I can understand when you have, you know, a character that has your collision boxes, you know, has attack, you know, pain, uh, injured, you know, damage boxes, you know, bread damage, you know, causes damage boxes, you know, attack boxes, you know, I can understand that. If they're like, say, say there was a character, there's a character, you know, the boss, the final boss of Star Wars Second Story named Indelico or Gabriel, you might know him better as Gabriel, but still, I call him Indelico because I'd rather that name rather than trying to be biblical in, in, in a stupid way. But Indelico, this guy uh, was the final boss and he's like um, a celestial energy mage kind of character, floats around and he's the final boss of the story, so he will be difficult. He has to be difficult uh, in, in and thankfully, not as annoying and cheap as Luther was, but still, from Star Wars New Time, but still, he is pretty difficult and cheap um, in some ways. Because basically, what would happen is he creates a damage, a field, a, a re basically a wave of energy will come off of him constantly. And if you're nearby that, you're going to get hurt. It's going to hurt you. It's, just, it's constant stuff. It's just constant. That's just stuff he normally does. Is attack. That's stuff that just normally happens. So basically, if I was doing Indelico. A moving character of Indelico, I probably would have that because, um, or maybe not, because again, like Luther the Loser, as I call him, after being defeated by Fate and Friends, he may not be as powerful. <clears throat> as Claude and Friends, he may not be as powerful. But Luther the Loser, the one I'm making, is not as powerful as he was before Fate and Friends defeated him, <clears throat> you know? So it's like, you know, maybe, yeah, he might not be able to do it automatically. Maybe uh, it'll be like an attack, you know? <clears throat> With his first attacks, you know, and just be like, you know, Wayfield, you know, <laughs> you know, and that it's still gonna be cheesy, you know, it's still gonna be kind of annoying, but you know, it'll be at least be something you control, you know, instead of uh, unless it's unless it's something that's like there was like M Bison or something who was basically, uh, if yeah, he got you know, he was like he had damage field, you know, he had red collision boxes with that basically he, he touched you. You know, he was like had energy all over him and whenever he touched you he he'd be hitting you. You know, he's touching the enemy, and they don't, and they like, he actually attacks, like, <laughs> standing there, oh, you know, and he like, it doesn't air, you know, and it's like, oh, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, that is so cheap, you know, come on, dude, come on, you know, so bad, and, they, well, oh, oh, we took him away, 
We skipped a frame. So, uh, no, minus O. Wrong button. Use for the collisions. All right. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. The Wolverine thing. The Wolverine. Oh, no, let's finish the apartment one first. Or not. I don't know. The apartment one came before the Wolverine one. So, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to the Wolverine one eventually. But first, the apartment one. So, we finally have, I finally got the key. <clears throat> keys. I finally got the key. Hmm? Now I'm trying to remember something here. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. So I think my brother, Sailor Trance, mm -hmm, was there too. I think he was hanging out. No. Oh, no, no. Here's how it worked. Here's how it worked. Um, I, you know, he, she said, okay, give me until 4 o'clock. I went to I went to the place at 3 o'clock. So she said, you know, and she's like, well, can you give me until 4 o'clock to get these keys? You know, mm -hmm. I have to wait for this guy to come and give me these keys. So I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh... So I'll wait till four. I gave she like I she gave me my no no gave me I gave her my cell phone my current phone number which may change very soon because uh, there's issues right now you know and it's my, my brother's like hey man you know why are you spending this amount of money on this phone and this phone as your this phone as your main phone and this phone as your backup when you can just get this one phone you know that could do everything just fine you know. And my mom's like, eh, I don't know, you know, that, that thing costs more, but it's like, again, you know, you're probably spending it already, so I'm like, yeah, maybe. So that's why I asked, said, told her with my last text, no, second, my last text message I gave her tonight. I was like, maybe his, uh, this, John's, uh, my, uh, for it, my, uh, uh, brother's, uh, uh, idea, uh, phone idea isn't so bad because <laughs> it's like yeah unlimited talk text and web mm, okay web mm. i like that talk and text are important and i definitely that's the way the reason why i have a phone where it's like okay yeah i have a phone that's basically like um oh yeah 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 are we gonna need 30 minutes no 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 I can't do that. I'm not doing 30 minutes. I'll see you soon, man. See you tomorrow on YouTube. DVR for Force Neo and House of Lights Section in on DVR. I'll probably might redo that series to make it even more awesome. I'll see. But I got a lot of work to do on DVR. Oh my goodness. I got like at least two or three series. I need. Oh, two series. I know. Two series. Hero Force Neo and Wild Force need to end. Okay. They need to end. Um. Not Wild Force. Wild Force just began. I mean, I'm talking Star Wars. Star Wars, how Star Wars was a one should end. They need to end. Mm -mm -mm. I need to end those so that I can focus on my other guys. My Wild Force, uh, my my what's it called? Well, I'm doing most of the the uh, hey, James A. Chase ending. Uh, you have yourself a deal ending myself right now. But, uh, you know, again, warning that is definitely uh, one of I think the most violent one of the most violent things I ever made. Cause, but that's because I'm trying to do like a spy thriller type thing of what you know how things you know would happen in spy thrillers you know basically where uh, you know that our hero falls you know starts to fall for this girl that he may meets on, while on his mission and you know she starts to fall for him and they have wonderful times wonderful times together and then of course it's like uh yeah we don't we know what could happen i don't i hope it doesn't but uh, he goes i like the banter they have but uh, we know it could happen here because it's a spy novel and, and it does happen so it's like oh uh, you know she dies she gets killed i'm like okay so i decide wait a minute i see seen this i'm like hold on a second you know wait a minute she got killed because she was in a place that you already knew was dangerous you were ordered to not let the girl that you were supposed to be protected okay Go out, you know, go to this place that was dangerous. Mm. Okay, it was, it was terrace. Okay, it was a terrace. Okay, and she's like he, he was told that our hero was told by his boss. Okay, do not let you know my secretary's been killed. I found there was a punk, you know, the the medics found a puncture wound in her arm, you know, a, a needle wound in her arm. It's like true serum. That means she's probably talked. Mm. So it's like okay, she probably she knows where you know you guys are. So she probably told them whoever they are. You know, she probably told him. So, you know, keep that girl who has the vital information on, you know, vital information on, you know, might have vital information on, on, on government secrets of this country. <laughs> okay, keep her out of the, keep her out of the, keep her out of the open. <laughs> Do not let her go out onto the, the terrace in that place. All right. So it's like, okay. 
And also, I'm sitting down with six more men. The army, she, he had like a bunch of army guys, you know, soldiers hanging out. So like six soldiers hanging out with him. It's like I'm sitting down with six more. Okay, you know, sitting down with six more. Uh, you know, stay up. You know, doing all that. That girl go on the terrace. You know, someone could shoot her. This would be bad news, y'all. They're like, okay, cool. Then like later, he goes out on the terrace to read a file about somebody. I'm like, didn't you just? find out that it was dangerous and then i was like oh you must have thought it was just dangerous for all girl yeah. because that makes perfect sense and yeah then later you know our girl the girl that we actually really liked and care about that was actually starting to like him really like him you know and actually making you know eliciting really emotions from him she apparently goes out to the uh, terrace to sunbathe and i'm like wait, 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 wait i'm sorry wait well i was like right then i'm like whoa wait wait a second what's happening what's what why, why is she out there why is she out there you know, you know that, especially after she colored her hair the same you know, blonde like the um, main girl that everybody's trying to ki either capture or kill um, <laughs> you know why'd you do that no don't do it girl don't do it and it's like oh, there was a sniper there it's like oh a blonde haired woman yeah that's the that must be the girl because you know the other girl is, has dark hair so I'm going to shoot her now you know so psh, and I'm like <laughs> really like really I mean Come on, guys. You know, so I basically changed how she died because I. But basically, there's the issue of it's like, okay, you know, the girl's killed, so then our hero can have revenge against our villains, you know. And it's like two, on two way, you know, and basically in the, the both the way that she was killed in the book and the the way that the um, guy the man guy who killed her, um, uh, gets uh, defeated are just going to very annoying ways because it's like okay this could not have had you know didn't have to happen mm -hmm. you know if like he broke in and found her you know just taking it you know found her you know attacked her from close range you know kill her at close range like he did kill someone else at close range and so i'm like you know, why can't you do that again mm -hmm. you know and then die out die on his own weapon mm -hmm. you know die because of his own weapon that would be perfect po poetic justice for him you know that would be awesome you kill people with a weapon, live by that weapon, die by that weapon, same thing, you know, that'd be great, that'd be awesome, you know, and then it'd be like, you know, I'm, you know, do some cool stuff like that, you know, that's why I'm doing it, I'm changing, you know, I'm, you know, messing around with that stuff, and so it's gonna be a bit rough, but, you know, I'll figure it out, uh, boy, it is, now that I stop it right now, uh, also on YouTube, Final Star, Final Fantasy X, X and Star Stealing Time, like, you know, if you watch the Lady Fleet Luther, Albo gets the final hit.